Hey everybody, I got another mod for you. Okay, this one is going to be a handheld one because I want you guys to see this. Um, so, uh, yes, I uh, like to build stuff. I like to tinker, as you know. Uh, my other videos, you've taken a look, seen some of the stuff I've done. Uh, one of the things I always pull out is my little 290 FPV copter. As you see, there's the NASA. NASA fit in there, FPV antenna. ESCs. I'm gonna actually swap out these ESCs, you know, but something a little, little bit beefier since I got the uh, six-inch carbon fiber blades on here. Uh, let's see what we got on here. People always ask about this. Always want to know what's in there. Got the Emacs MT1806 2280KV motors. They're very small but extremely powerful. Very low profile. Sweet spin, you got the NASA indicator light and USB port on the bottom. This is a very cool frame, I remember picking it up. I'm like, how come nobody has this? Oh yeah, the X8R is hidden in the back there. It's kind of my racing FPV copter, you know, something small, something light I could throw in a bag. Uh, shoot some video, GoPro's gonna go in there. But oh yeah, on the side you're like, what is that over there? Okay, so uh, yes, I like to tinker, so. Um, you're going to notice, uh, let me move this out of here so it's less distracting, but oh, maybe I'll put it back. All right, I'll put it back. All right, so if you notice, this is my 290. And right here, and you know what? While we're on, on camera, I'll measure this because sometimes people want to know, what is this? How big is that, you know? So the size difference, like, oh, yeah, that's the right tape measure. That's what I want. This is just about 290. And this one is about 240. Yeah, about 240. About 240. This is a 240. You know, custom build that I did. Uh, went on eBay. Ordered a couple of alien copters. They were some bigger quads and they had the... Uh, DJI plastic arms that everybody knows about, uh, just in case you don't know. Yes, as I said, just in case you don't know, just pause it for a second. Bam, these arms right here. Everybody knows these things. They see them all over eBay. You know, they come with these frames. Actually, these are the type of uh, arms that came with um, the frames, the quads that uh, I use the plates for, for my uh, X6 copter. But anyway, to the side. Um, it was an alien copter that came, alien copter that came on uh, eBay that I saw. I was like, cool, let me build an FPV quad, you know, look like a little like the Discovery TBS. Um, but uh, it was too big, and, you know, everybody's getting into the 250 racing copter. So I decided, hey, let me build something on my own. So this is a, uh, a work of mine that uh, I decided, hey, let's uh, build something pretty cool. So I cut off the tabs, the back piece, and uh, turned it around, had some metal arms, some metal motor mounts that I mounted there on the end, had some, uh, let's see, 2208, 26 key, 100 KV motors, mounted them on there, let's open this bad boy up, this is actually my girlfriend's copter, uh, I decided I'm going to build something for her. Because she's uh, learning to fly. And, and uh, you know, I wanted something small and neat. Something we could put in a bag and just go out. Take it for a spin. Throw it back in a bag. And away we go, you know. Sometimes discretion is is key when it comes to these things. You know. With all the laws that are changing and people not understanding what's about it. Sometimes, you know, you just need to introduce people to certain things. Uh... So as I'm opening this, uh, if you notice, is top plate, bottom plate. So it's kind of totally enclosed. You have your battery wow. uh, wire there. There's some lighting on the front. I'd plug it in and show you what that looks like. Antenna, uh, motor, um, landing gear, little landing gear. Okay, there we go. All right, turn it back over. As you notice, I have a CC 3D encased on top. Cool, very cool, very cool. And I shall open this up and 
voila, inside are the guts. You notice the uh, CC3D is mounted on some uh, Kyosho Zeal vibration dampening uh, spongy, whatever you want to call that stuff. <laughs> the vibration dampening, uh, it's not quite foam, it's like a gel that uh, allows receivers and flight controllers to flex a little bit without without uh, not really flex but basically absorb a lot of the shock that's on um, vibration that's caused by the motors uh, you notice it's sitting on a distribution board where everything's all laid out uh, as I say I always like somebody wiring so you know pretty decent wiring but got the uh, mystery Simon Key 12 amps got photos in there Got the Fly Sky uh, six channel receiver in there and uh, motor. So it's it's a very simple build, very clean to the point. And uh, you know, I, I, I like this little thing because it's so tiny. Actually, I put a little sticker on there, one of my uh, other motors. But as you see, it's a very, very clean, simple build couple of uh, nine locks that I just put on the top there just to uh, to hold the cover closed but uh, you know I might I don't know if I'm even gonna throw a GoPro GoPro mount on it I'll probably throw a Mobius on here because uh, a Mobius has a nice slim profile and if you notice the motors are very close so if I put a nice little Mobius there, that would work out perfect um, but yeah, this is one of my other mods. Hope you people like it. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Maybe I might start building these. You never know. Performance should be pretty good. It's very lightweight. Uh, not too much to it. But uh, until next time, see you later.